welcome back to another Dollar Tree haul with me, Margo. So spring is up upon us, and happy spring to everybody. It has been spring for about a week now, I guess. Um, we really haven't had, I mean, like really warm weather, but 50s, 60s, and I'll take it. I'll take it. All right, so, um, well, if you are new here, welcome. And if you are not, then thank you for coming back. Uh, my name is Margo. I do live uh, centrally in Connecticut and do go to many Dollar Trees around me. Um, and of course, like if I go out of state, and I'd look up Dollar Trees. But, um, but anyways, I do have a haul for you guys. Um, it's decent size, some brand new stuff, uh, some wish item stuff. So let's get started. All right, so um, a lot of you have seen people hauling these already. They're Campbell's Flavor Up Cooking Concent uh, cooking Concentrate. And it's this one is Savory Mushroom and Herb. This one's 11 ounces. And let's see if I can find a Best Buy date. Oh, here we go. All right, so Best Buy date on this is August 9th. 2023 they had three different flavors not sure if there's any more if there's more than three flavors guys just let me know in the comments so this one is rich garlic and herb and this one is 11 ounces and the best by date on this one is august 7 2023 all right, and then the last one is uh, car caramelized, caramelized onion and burgundy wine. Oh, that one sounds really, really good. And this one again, 11 ounces. Best buy on this one is September 22nd, 2023. So, if you guys have tried these, let me know if you like them and which one is your favorite. Okay, and then I had bought um, cat food. Well, I'm still buying them kitten food. I served them wet food in the morning, just a half a can each. And I bought a big box of them, which is something I normally do. I have two cats. So, um, what I did was I bought the wrong one. I bought the kitten in gravy instead of the pate. They don't like it. So I did give it to um, a woman that I work with. And actually, she's the one that had gotten me Binks. So the food's not going to go to waste, that's for sure. And uh, had she not taken it, I would have brought it down to the Humane Society. So I did pick these up, a chicken with white fish. And this is, um, I think it's a pate. I'm, I'm almost positive it is. But anyways, I picked up two of these. These are cat food. I'm not sure if they, they're going to like these. These are the 5.5 ounce. Um, I'll try them and see if they like it. I saw these Nutri-Grain Bites there. These are strawberry flavored. And my son loves Nutri-Grain Bars. So, this is a 3.5 ounce, and the best buy date on this is July 16, 2023. It's my cousin's birthday. No, it's not. It's my girlfriend's birthday, the 16th. Okay, and of oh, the nutritional facts. So, I did pick up two of these. And I'll tell you, in the grocery stores, these are way more than $1.25. So. And these will be perfect for him. He works like 10 to 12-hour days. So he brings, you know, snacks and stuff with him. So I think that'll work out good for him. Uh, let's see. Oh, this is a repeat buy. These are so good. I think they are. The Crunch Mania by Kellogg's. Bite-sized cinnamon buns. They're like mini cookies. And these are a four pack, but I do really like these. I like these with coffee. And then I saw these, these again I got for my son. My husband doesn't eat these and they're okay. But they're the Kellogg's Rice Krispie Treats Original. And there is one, two, three, four, five point seven eight ounce um, bars. So I did pick up two of these. 
Let's see, here's the other one. And do these have a Best Buy date on them? I don't know, but these were new to me. Oh no, here it is. Best Buy 5-9-2023. Best Buy 5-9-2023. Written right back here. All right, so DJ has got some snacks. Uh, I think that is it for food and drinks. Okay, so what I do have next is, um, for those of you that know uh, me last year, I had a huge Easter egg hunt. I've done it for, I want to say 15 years. And last year was the last year that I was doing it for, you know, for the whole neighborhood, friends, and all that stuff. This year, I am choosing to just have the family over, so there's probably going to be about 10 kids here. And um, so anyways, I started getting all my Easter stuff out, and I realized I need more stuff for the eggs. So whatever I found at Dollar Tree that I thought that would fit in the eggs, I picked up. So this is Wild Creatures. There's eight pieces in here, and I did get two of these. So we'll put, be putting these in the eggs. All this stuff that I'm showing you now will be going in the eggs. Um, and I, I have so much more. But anyways, these are six packs of bubbles. I did pick up three of these. So these will be going in the eggs. And then I picked up these stampers. These are Easter stampers. These are an eight pack. Yeah, eight pack. And I picked up two of these. Not sure. Where, oh, here it is. So I picked up two of these. And I picked up these gold medal um, favor surprise. There's six in a bag. Whoops. There it goes. I picked up two of these. And these say winner on them. They're gold medals. Very cute. Then I picked up uh, these six pack, but I got two of them of these huge rings. And these are for ages three and up. These are pretty cool. I like these. Um, let's see. I did get some erasers. Whoops. These are cute little bunny erasers. These are eight packs. I picked up two. So normally, um, in the past, when I've had about 30 kids, I had about th uh, 3,000 eggs. And in my eggs, I never put any candy or chocolates or anything like that. It's all either uh, paper that says prize on it. Uh, I put change in there. And then these little, um, these little gifts. So here's a five pack of beaded necklaces. I picked up two of these. So these will also be going in the eggs. And these little pencil sharpeners, there is 12 in a pack. These will be going in the eggs as well. And then these will be going in the eggs. I'm not sure if any of this stuff will be. I don't think so. Um, there's so there's 25 balloons in here and we'll put one balloon in um, in each egg okay so I had bought these for my nieces I bought three of these okay and I hauled them and I opened one of them and I had gotten this one right here the pineapple one so I had the girls over last weekend and I gave them their stuff for Easter from me and left behind what my mom and my sister had gotten for them. I'll see them again before Easter. They'll be here for the Easter egg hunt. But anyways, so they opened their stuff and they both got pineapples. So I was a little bummed for them. So I did pick up more of these for them. Um, well, I picked up three more. And I will open another one. I'm hoping it's not the pineapple again. But I'll open this one. And I gave my other one to the youngest. So I'll give this one to the oldest. They really, really like these. I think they're adorable. 
I don't know if you guys watched the uh, last video that was put out. Actually, it was of my little nieces. So you guys get to finally meet them. Um, but they did, um, they were opening blind bo boxes, I guess they are. The Shopkins that were sold at Dollar Tree. So that was fun. They, they enjoyed it. They were very happy to be on film. So, oh my goodness, I'm having such a hard time with this. Don't look. Okay. Ooh, what's this one? What's Oh, I got the bunny. I got the bunny. <laughs> but I'll be giving this to the oldest one. So that's adorable. Like I said, we could wear them like these. That's so cute. So, so cute. All right, so I'm hoping the girls get something fun out of here. Like I said before, the cat and the unicorn would be awesome. But, okay, so we got a bunny for the oldest one. And then I saw Pookie, I think it was from Pookie's View, um, hauling these ones. These are the uh, charmed bracelets. And I did pick, I thought I picked up three, but I picked up four of them. So I did not get any of these for the girls. So I will be giving them each one. And I'm going to open one. And then maybe I'll hold on to one for, I don't know, Toys for Tots or something. Let me see what this one looks like. Here we go again, you guys. Nope, I didn't use my teeth. Um, I should really just keep scissors here with me. That would work better, right? Ooh, ooh. Oh, I have to send this to my sister. She'll know which one she is. It's pink, and it has a butterfly on it. This is most certainly going to my sister. These are cute. This is adorable. I would definitely wear this. Okay, so she's getting this one. I'm going to give the girls each one, and I'm going to open another one. Whoa, and this one I will keep. Oh, it's got a butterfly on it as well, but look at it. It is the turquoise blue color. These are adorable. I love this. Oh, my goodness, I love this. I love this. I will definitely be keeping this one. Beautiful. And I'll send my sister this one. And then the girls each have one to open up. Oh, I really like these. They're so cute. That's awesome for a um, Easter basket as well. Okay, so I found this. This is new to me. Um, it's Malibu, California, and it is a Barbie outfit. And it has a little accessory over here, but this one is new to me. Every time I find a new one, I pick one up. I do have a Barbie doll to go with this that will be a Christmas gift. And I also want to pick up the Ken doll because I think I have one or two um, Ken outfits. Okay. So I needed these little screwdrivers the other day at work, and I didn't have any. So I picked these up, and I'm just going to bring these to work with me. They're nice and thin. Sometimes we have little things with batteries in them, and it's so hard to open. I have a eye kit thing. But it, it just doesn't work. So I'm hoping these ones do. So I'll bring that to work with me. Okay, so I saw these scented stickers. And these are s'mores. The girls love these scented stickers. I bought them before. And here is, like I said, the s'mores one. And they do smell good. I've scratched and sniffed these before. They do smell good. Okay, so my sister had asked me to pick up these markers. And then... Another style. I saw these ones. I picked them up. And then I went out to the store again yesterday, I think it was. And I found the other ones. So those will be in my next haul. So I got those for her. And then I had seen someone hauling these. And I was hoping to find them for the girls. These are just so cute. Look at these things. They're so cute. They're adorable. <laughs> so they're just called Bounce Ball. They're squishy. They have little textured ends, the tentacles. You can use it like a yo-yo. So, very cute, very cute. I can't remember all the other colors, but... Um, so, I did get a yellow and a pink. And my son was saying, Mom, we need some toys in the backyard for the kids when they come over. So, I picked up a few things. Um, these are actually for the pool. These are called Splash Water. 
I mean, splash water. <laughs> splash balls, they have little holes in them. So you throw them in the water, you soak them up good, and then you throw them at somebody and they splash. But so they had the soccer ball. They had a purple baseball. These are so squishy. And they had a green baseball or softball. And then a blue basketball. But see all the little holes in them? The water will get in there, fill with water. And then you just throw them at each other and they splash. Okay. Then I picked up for the backyard this game. It's the uh, sticky catch set. It comes with two of these. You stick your hand in there and you toss this ball around and it's sucked right onto here. So you get two paddles and the um, ball. And I also got these for the backyard. They are foam glider. These are pretty big. This one is in red. 15 inch wingspan, easy to fly. So I got the red and then I got the orange. I always liked these two when I was younger. I did, I did, I did, I did. Okay, so then I did get these. You guys know I love this chocolate, mini milk chocolate bars. And let's see, made in Poland. I think it's a German chocolate though, but it is made in Poland. Ingredients, sugar, milk, chocolate, liqueur, cocoa butter, lactose, soy, something or other, and natural flavors. And here's the nutritional facts. Well, you can break these up if you want. They're individually wrapped to put into baskets or just give them like that. Okay, so I bought this because it's all over TikTok. So I bought the pole that goes with, and this is a rather long pole for this dustpan. So I did find a shorter one and I did purchase it, but these are like universal. They fit on almost anything of the, that they sell at Dollar Tree, like all the uh, gardening tools and stuff. So this will not go to waste. But what I did get also is this comb. And so what you do is, let me try to do this. All right, so this plastic is still on here, but that's okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this comb and I'm gonna glue it right here or even like drill it in, I'm not sure. Glue it right there. And then when you're sweeping, you go to put the this, this stuff in here, you take your broom and you run it through this and pull it up and it takes off all that stuff that's always stuck to the bottom of the broom. But I did see this on TikTok and I am going to hopefully put this together. But I thought that was such a great idea. All right, whoops. All right, so the last thing that I picked up, it is, well, I think it's a set, but it's the, the puzzles. Hold on guys, and I will show you. Okay, so it is these 500 piece Artist Spotlight series. And there is six total. There's this one. These are absolutely beautiful. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. There's one of them. Here's the other one. This one just so reminds me of um, the newest Black Panther. She kind of looks like her, the, the uh, sister. All right, and then there was this one. And this is by Spin Master Puzzle. Uh, oh, it is Greenbrier International. Okay. Distributed by Greenbrier. All right. And then there is this one. I love the colors in these. It so reminds me, like, this scene reminds me of the 70s, especially with that mushroom lamp. <laughs> yep, definitely the 70s. Okay. And then there is this one. This one is also 70s, 80s. Here's another mushroom lamp up here. Like it looks like she's wearing Converse. That's awesome. Really cool. And then last but not least is this one. These colors are gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. 
All right, guys, so that is it for this haul. And let me just show you all six of these together. I believe there's only six. If there's more than six in this set, you guys, and you know, please let me know in the comments. Um, but yeah, so that is it for this haul. Let me get you some prices. So what I paid for this haul was $50. And of course, that's before tax. And let's see, had I gone to Walmart, Target, Amazon, anywhere outside of Dollar Tree, pretty much, it would have been approximately $152.05. And that is a big difference of $102.05. And again, you guys, that's why I love Dollar Tree. All right, guys, so until next time, love you, bye.